The under 23 World Road Race Championships are underway. The flag drops. We'll see how this race unfolds now. Just when you see the peloton strung out in a line like this, simply by them being in single file, it really shows how hard they're going. Yeah, we've seen many, many attacks. The groups were going and coming back and suddenly the elastic seems to have snapped. This is a very dangerous breakaway. 10 riders starting to build their advantage now. Axel Laurent's still bouncing that back wheel around. A sign of a rider who's not quite entirely happy with what's going on with his machine. We were talking about this rider who had a problem and finally he's managed to get his team car and he's decided he needs a bike change. This is Mary Hill Locks we just took a look at. The French are waiting to bring Axel Laurent's back up. Good teamwork. A group of maybe 20, 30 riders going clear from the peloton. And now we get an attack. So two riders go clear. Kretschke and Rutkin Gray have decided let's now try and splinter this group. Onto Montreux Street and Rutkin Gray has decided it's time now to go clear. Milazi is still hovering around towards the back. Yeah, what a great move that was. As we see another big attack. Axel Laurence has gone clear. This is a massive attack. And the British rider who's been perhaps the strongest rider in the breakaway for the last hour, Rutkin Gray, is desperately trying to get on terms. The solo leader now is Axel Laurence as he now tries to win this World Championship solo. A big attack. Is this the move that wins this World Championship? But the Frenchman is taking the initiative and going clear. This is the fight for the medals. Here's the chase going on. Everybody messing around a little bit. They can't afford to mess around like this. They need to keep riding. It's all about trying to win the rainbow jersey. And the only way they're going to do that is to combine as a group of five and try and go across. Look at the gap now, and you can see the riders, they've got him. I almost thought he had it all wrapped up, but with nine kilometres to go, once they can see him, he's like a carrot dangling in front. It gives the riders in this group that extra motivation to keep pushing, don't give up. Are they all settling for the silver medal? It looks like it might be going up the road. He can see the finish line now. Axel Laurent of France. He looks around. They still got to keep the pressure on because the riders behind are getting set to fire and try and beat him to the finish line. Nearly 150 kilometers in the breakaway and he's going to go all the way to the finish line. A win for France. Axel Laurent, world champion on the finish line in second, Morgado. What a race. Morgado is so annoyed, he took the silver medal. Behind them was uh, Martin Schreck. 